covert emotional incest is an elusive form of emotional sexual abuse where no physical genital touching has to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there, there are different components. Number one is, and the main component is, that a child is made a substitute or surrogate spouse for one or both of their care, adult caregivers. Mm -hmm. So in that role of spouse, uh, the spousal role is a sexual role, whether there is physical sex happening or not. So otherwise it would be a friend, mm -hmm. you know? So there's sexual energy that is getting transmitted from the adult to the child. Children are emotional energy sponges. They don't necessarily know in their left cognitive brain, oh, this is sexual energy now that's coming through, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but they pick it up and, <clears throat> excuse me, so it impacts them. They know it and they're going to behave in a certain way. And we talk about it sexualizing that child, which means that they can then start to sexualize intimacy, where if it's emotional intimacy, they feel close to someone, they can literally physically start getting aroused. They can then start trying to be physically sexual. Mm -hmm. That's what sexualized means, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so we go back to the spousal role. So there's sexual energy that's getting passed down, which is why we use the term incest mm -hmm. or emotional sexual abuse. No physical contact necessarily, but picking up on that energy is a violation of boundaries. Mm -hmm. The spousal role is a violation of boundaries. The child's supposed to be in the child role and the adult's supposed to be in the parent role, taking care of that child's needs. But instead, the roles are reversed and the child is taking care of the parent's needs. Right. Okay. So in family therapy, sometimes they called this the parentified child and they would talk about in an addictive family system, how let's just say the daughter, the daughter, the, <clears throat> the daughter becomes the wife and the mother of the house and starts taking care of the kids. Mm -hmm. So parentified child is one thing, but being the wife, being the parent of other children is one thing. Being the wife is a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. And so there's that part to the point where I could be sleeping in the bed with my parent. Mm -hmm. And it could be happening at 13 and 15. I mean, and these are examples. This is real. This happens. Mm -hmm. 17, whatever. Mm -hmm. And there may not be any physical sex happening. Right. But what, what's the energy there? What are the messages there? Hello, this is Lynn Fraser with the Killaby Center Radical Recovery Summit. We are so excited to bring you the lineup for January 10th to 19th, 2020. Go to RadicalRecoverySummit.com to see the new headliners for 2020 and to sign up. You can watch free January 10th to 19th or buy an all-access pass.